I think the ability to use the CyberKnife system and perform radio surgery in the lung represents a very big advancement. I feel really lucky to have found CyberKnife. It's changing the way we view cancer, control of cancer, and how we treat cancers of both the brain and the body. CyberKnife gave me my life back. The CyberKnife system is the world's first and only robotic radio surgery system. This technology brings the benefits of radio surgery to the treatment of tumors anywhere in the body. It provides a pain-free, non-surgical alternative for patients, including those who refuse surgery or have been diagnosed with surgically inoperable or complex tumors. CyberKnife treatments are done on an outpatient basis and do not require anesthesia or invasive stabilizing frames. Most patients can return to normal activities almost immediately following treatment. The CyberKnife system uses continual image guidance and computer-controlled robotics to precisely deliver high-dose radiation beams from virtually any direction with sub-millimeter accuracy. This unhindered mobility minimizes damage to surrounding healthy tissue and nearby critical structures like the spinal cord. The CyberKnife system is a dedicated robotic radio surgery system. Unlike conventional radiation therapy, which delivers low-dose radiation in 30 to 45 treatments, CyberKnife radio surgery delivers high-dose radiation in as few as one to five treatments. The CyberKnife system can be used as an alternative to surgery, unlike radiation therapy, which typically serves as an adjunct to surgery. Overall, the CyberKnife system made the biggest impression on me early on with regards to uh, being able to offer treatments to some patients who haven't had any other options. Uh, they uh, didn't have either a surgical option or a radiation therapy option or chemotherapy. Um, and this allowed us now to offer them something that wasn't uh, available before, that wasn't uh, only effective but was safe. Unlike other systems on the market, the CyberKnife system images continually throughout the treatment and automatically corrects treatment delivery for even the slightest tumor or patient movement throughout the body. This unique ability is important for treating tumors that move, particularly those in the spine, lung, liver, pancreas, and prostate. A lung tumor it moves constantly with respiration. Uh, conventional radiation, you'd have to radiate the whole area where the tumor might be in any phase of respiration, whereas a CyberKnife, the radiation device actually tracks the tumor and allows us to give a very focused dose of radiation to the tumor and not the surrounding normal lung. Unhindered by the clockwise, counterclockwise constraints of conventional gantry systems, the CyberKnife system's robotic mobility has significantly improved dose sculpting capabilities and conformal dose distributions. Unlike the conventional radiation machines, the CyberKnife literally can dance around the room. Those radiation beams can come in from the head of the patient, the feet of the patient, the sides at multiple different angles. That's something our conventional radiation machines, which are fixed, are not capable of doing. And as a result of that, we can get very high doses into the tumor and spare the normal tissue surrounding it. Prior to treatment, the patient is imaged using a high-resolution CT scan to determine the size, shape, and location of the tumor. Following the scanning, the image data is digitally transferred to the CyberKnife System's treatment planning workstation, where the treating physician identifies the tumor to be targeted and the surrounding vital structures to be avoided. The CyberKnife software then generates a treatment plan to provide the desired radiation dose to the identified tumor location. Finally, during a CyberKnife procedure, the patient lies comfortably on the treatment table which automatically positions the patient. Treatment generally lasts between 30 and 90 minutes. 
Prior to the delivery of each beam of radiation, the CyberKnife system simultaneously takes a pair of X-ray images and compares them to the original CT scan. This image-guided approach continually tracks, detects, and corrects for any movement of the patient and tumor throughout the treatment to ensure precise targeting. Cancer is different in different people. Different people survive because they approach it differently. And when I looked into everything I could find, that was the only thing I could find that I was going to bet my life on. And I bet my life on the cyber knife, and here I am two years later. For me as a physician, it's important to have the cyber knife available as an alternative treatment because uh, we're talking about treating patients who are in many ways desperate with no other therapy available to them. I was diagnosed with cancer of the prostate just a year ago, and my reaction was one of absolute uh, disbelief. Uh, once I started treatment with the cyber knife, uh, I had to be in a room for just about an hour, perhaps a little less, for five days in a row. And after the treatment with the cyber knife was finished, I rested for no more than a day and then would resume my normal activities. Now it's about eight or nine months since my treatment. I have no symptoms. I'm doing my full activities. I'm very active in sports. I have no complications. I couldn't be happier with the results of my treatment. I think the cyber knife is a major advance in in the treatment of prostate cancer. The accuracy with which we can deliver the radiation to the prostate is phenomenal and I think it's going to revolutionize the treatment of prostate cancer. I was diagnosed with a brain tumor about a year and a half ago. Um, it is not a cancerous brain tumor but it's more of a disabling brain tumor that causes hearing loss, um, facial paralysis, and loss of balance and can become life-threatening if it would be left untreated. The CyberKnife was the best choice for me because it allowed me to um, treat my tumor non-invasively. In Suzanne's case, uh, for the benign brain tumor that she had, uh, CyberKnife was an excellent treatment option for her. Uh, the main reason being was that it was non-invasive, it was not a surgical procedure, it was done as an outpatient, and I think it gave her the best chance of preserving her hearing, which was at risk with any other type of treatment, whether it was another form of stereotactic radiosurgery or open surgery. Uh, so the CyberKnife, I think, was by far and away uh, in her best uh, interest and give her the best results. CyberKnife has a lot of advantages and differences over, over conventional radio surgery systems. I would say CyberKnife is the only system that I know of on the market that I would trust to treat prostate cancer. I'm treating patients with the CyberKnife with types of tumors, shapes, locations, sizes, and levels of dose that I frankly couldn't imagine treating with any other system. At that point, when I climbed off that table after the third CyberKnife treatment, I was in charge of the cancer. The cancer wasn't in charge of me. And that's how it's been for two years. And it's a good feeling. That freedom is priceless. Please visit Accuray.com for more information. Eligibility and treatment outcome with the CyberKnife system may vary from patient to patient.